here I'm on C and I need to draw the molecule first. It does have some hints here. And uh, so I'll draw what it says. Tetrahedral CH3 group. That's this part right here, CH3. This is how you draw a tetrahedron if you've forgotten. This wedge means out of the plane toward the observer. The dashed line is behind the plane. Here's a CH3 ready to attach to the rest of the molecule, COOH. This is a very common group, COOH, and students tend to draw them all in a line, but it says make it look like the formic acid shown above, so make it look like that. I'm thinking about angles here. This is trigonal planar geometry, if you remember that. And I'm bending my oxygen and that's my structure. Now, what I'm supposed to do is dissociate the molecule. So first I'm putting on polarity. This half of the molecule is nonpolar, but this half is polar. That's a delta plus, delta minus, delta plus, delta minus. The only hydrogen that can dissociate is this one right here, the polar hydrogen. Dissociation means a bond is broken. So I will simply remove this terminal hydrogen right here. It will be free as an H plus ion. The, rain, the remainder of the molecule looks very similar to what it started as. So here's the tetrahedral part. This hasn't changed. No bonds have been broken there. And here's the formal negative right there. So that's the way you draw the structure. That's how you identify the hydrogen that can dissociate. It's the polar one. And when it does dissociate, it becomes an ion and that leaves behind a formal negative.